Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, you're going to see me teaching a business owner who owns a remodeling company who's been having a lot of problems with price objections. You're going to watch me hit him with a couple objections. You're going to see what he says, and then you're going to see me show him how to close every deal. Check it out. We're going to kill it together, okay? So I want to know what you're struggling with, what you need help with. That's all I care about. Tell me what's on your heart. Let me help you. Let's fill some holes here. Let's get you to grow. My man. So I've been emailing estimates for bathroom remodels, kitchen remodels, any type of new construction. I just go on the estimate for free. I come home, do the estimate. I email it. A lot of them been slipping through the cracks. I said, I'm about to cut the emailing. I'll go there on the estimate, come home, print out the estimate, go face to face, close and close. And then because no one's even given me objections to give rebuttals like you're training. So I'm like, I can't even respond. So I'm gonna do face to face. I need to know how to prepare for that. Where where are the uh, where are these uh, estimates coming in from? Are these from third party? Are they coming to your website? Where where are you getting them? I spend like two thousand every other week, probably on Facebook ads. I got Craigslist ads. I got uh, okay. Google. But, and, but they're emailing you or they're texting you. They're calling me. They're calling me. They're saying, hey, can I? Can you come tile my house? Hey, can you come remodel my house? Can you do this? Yeah, I'll come give you an estimate. This time I come to their house, I measure, I look around, I take photos, videos, and then I come home, make up a price, and I go, I email it to them. Oh, Yeah. Okay, you're doing the ultimate sin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's like sinning. If, we, if, if I was Jesus, I would throw you in hell. I'm just kidding. Listen, here's the deal is that number one, the fact that you have a business and a company and that's how you mind blowing. And it just, number one, like I'm not saying that in a bad way. I just want to say that if, if a guy wanted to train with me and then I told him what I could do for him. And then I was like, Hey, I'm going to get off the, get off the phone and I'm going to email you something. I mean, dude, listen, like, I don't know where I'm losing them in the email. I don't know what's happening. I mean, and by the way, once that email fires out, like they don't have to answer their phone again to you. They don't have to do anything. And then that leaves you being eaten up with suspense and you already went out there and did it. So I have a question to you is when you go out and you look at somebody's place, you're always doing this. Somebody calls you, you'll go check it out. That's, that's the same. That's none of that's going to change. That's all the same. How long does it take you to get an estimate? I get like five, six, sometimes 10 calls a day. But no, how long does it take you to be able to give an estimate? To give it, to type, to think about the price? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can size it up right there, but I don't want to be disrespectful and just say, hey, your bathroom's 15,000 to remodel or, you know. You're not so being I don't disrespectful, that's what they want. That's what they want? Listen to me. I need you to do me a favor. Here's what I'm going to do, Anthony. We're going to we're going to change up how you're doing stuff. And number one, you're going to learn how to sit. Okay. And by the way, 15 grand ain't. Okay. So let's listen to me. I need you to understand that money. People will spend whatever they they want to get what they want. Your goal is to paint a picture that they're going to get what they want and more. So. It goes kind of like this, Anthony, you're going to come out to their house. And by the way, you're going to say, Hey, great news. I've got a lot of stuff going on, but I'm going to squeeze you in. I'm going to come by. I'm going to check out everything. And my goal, I want you to write down my goal is to tell you what it will roughly cost you before I leave so that we can get something taken care of. Now, listen, Anthony, I'm there. I'm like, Hey, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. I'm going to check out all your stuff. My goal again, my goal is before I leave, I'm going to give you a rough estimate of what this is going to cost so that we can get you on the schedule because some people are being pushed 10 weeks out. That's how far, I mean, there's so many people doing this. So the sooner we can get this wrapped up, the better. And obviously it's important to you. So it's important to me. So my goal is to get you an estimate before I leave today. Okay. Okay. Now they know what to expect. Okay. My goal is to get this wrapped up before I leave today. Now, listen to me when you're done and you do everything you're going to do, Anthony, I need you to understand this. Your presentation needs to be flawless. Flawless. You're going to paint a picture of what their life is going to look like doing business with you before you tell them how much it what how much it is. 
Okay. All right. So Anthony, I need you to be a great salesman. I need you to be able to paint pictures. Now listen to me. It doesn't always have to work this way, but I need you to have some kind of way to start it. So Anthony, right now, if I was sitting in front of you and you were going to give me a quote, how would you go through this? Just 30 seconds. Walk me through it. Hey, Andy. So we got an estimate here at the back 32,000. So to get started, I would just need 12,000 today. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to sit down, design the bathroom, pick out the tile, pick out the tub, any of the fixtures, lighting, get everything ordered, get the vanity ordered. And then once we see where that's at on the on the uh, delivery dates, then we could schedule you on that. That way your bathroom's not gutted too long. Uh, so I'll just take a check for that uh, 13,000 and we could uh, start the designing if you'd like. Okay, here's what I need you to do. That it bothers you to tell people how much stuff costs in front of them, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need you to not be scared. Okay. I need you to understand something. Listen to me. You know what these things cost. You're giving these people value. It's okay. Look, dude. I remember when I first started my business, taking $300 was weird. Now, now we take $300,000. I got to tell you something, okay? You need to get over this little problem because it's not doing you any good. You don't wear it well. It shows the customers you're uncertain and you're really good at what you do. So the fact that you're scared to present numbers in front of people's face, it's making your company and your product look bad when your company and your product isn't bad. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, like, like this is the first time they're getting, listen, I need you to understand this. There's two kind of Anthony's. Okay, there's, there's two Anthony's that I'm going to need to see. The Anthony that comes into the home, meets him, greets him, shows him how great you are. They're like, hey, I like this guy. You build a connection with them. That guy is not talking about money. You're good at being that guy. Here's the second side of Anthony. When you talk about money, you need to be very good at handling money. You need to not be scared of money. Okay. You want to, you want a hundred million dollar company? Act like you want a hundred million dollar company. Let's pretend that you really wanted your company to grow. Like you want it to grow. You can't be scared anymore. Hmm. You need to believe in yourself. Anthony. Okay. So it kind of would go something like this. All right, Anthony, after reviewing your entire home, the bathroom, everything you want, based off everything you told me, um, I want to ask you a question. Start out, ask a question. Your presentation is going to start out by asking a question. You ready? Write that down. Right, ask a question. What's the question going to be, Anthony? It's going to go just like this. Anthony, have you ever remodeled your house before? Yes or no? No. How important is that question? <laughs> Okay, so Anthony, before you go into your your uh, proposal, okay, you're going to get their mind where you need it to be to get them to say yes, okay? So it's going to be like this. Hey, Anthony, so I've got everything together and I want to go over this proposal. With you. We call it a proposal. I call it an estimate. I just call it a proposal. And I say, um, what I'm going to do, Anthony, is I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Number one, have you ever had your house remodeled before? The guy says no. I can say, okay, what I want to go through is the common nightmares. <laughs> Watch the common nightmares that most people have when remodeling their home. And I'm going to explain to you why we're different. And then I'll tell you how much it is. And if you want to do it, I'll take care of everything that I said and I'll prevent you from having any nightmares. Okay. If you haven't remodeled a home before, number one, somebody's going to tell you it's going to take X amount of time. It'll always take three times longer. Number two, when you're starting to remodel and you're tearing stuff down, as you're waiting on parts, you realize a part of your house is unusable. There's dust in your home. It brings a lot of stress on the family remodeling a home. I know it does because I do this for a living. My goal is to eliminate that time. That's what I do do so that your family doesn't have any stress and it's an easy, peaceful process. Okay. Unlike other people, 
that start something and then they do what jobs they have in front of their face. And then four months later, they get back to your bathroom. This is what's commonly going on in 99% of remodels around the world. You won't have that with them. Also, I know that you have an envision and an idea on what you want this to look like. Would you agree? Do you know what you want this to look like? You need to be able to do business with somebody who's competent enough and that can understand what you want and who will give you what you want and over deliver. That's me. There would be nothing more disappointing than you dropping X, Y, and Z amount of money and then not getting what it is that you want. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. You won't have that worry with me. And then lastly, my goal and what I will do, and when I say my goal, I mean my standard, write that down, my standard that I hold for our partnership on this remodel is that I'm going to do such an amazing job for the rest of the life that you guys live or for the rest of your time you're here in this home, five years, 10 years, whatever. You guys will be blown away and so happy with the way this looks. Also, It'll be such an outstanding job that really this remodel will cost you nothing. You know why? <laughs> because if it costs you X, Y, and Z amount today, when you guys go to resell it one day and go to buy something else because of the X, Y, and Z amount you spent on it, and it was so great, it will increase the property value by that much. So pretty much the remodel was free. If I can handle all that, is that exactly what you're looking for? Yes or no? Yes. Good. It'll be $32,000. I'll need $12,000 today. I won't need the rest. Okay. I don't need it. So don't pay it to me today. I just need the 12. You're going to write me a check for 12 grand today. I'm going to get to work immediately. We are going to have two to three more meetings to make sure everything's dialed to the T so that everything I just promised you and the standard I hold is executed and delivered. With that being said, I can put you guys on the roster to start now. I have an extremely busy schedule. I like you guys. I'm excited about this project. I may be more excited than you guys about it. One of my favorite deals is the bathroom remodel. I'm extremely good at it, but I don't want to over talk it. Let me just over deliver. Okay. Guys, I need 12 grand. I'll get this set up. Thank you so much for doing business with me. And by the way, if I blow your mind, all that I ask when you're done, is that you share that I did an amazing job with your friends and family. Is that okay to ask for? That's it. I'd close every person. So Anthony, now you know what to do. All I need you to do is do one thing, Anthony. Okay. Memorize, memorize what I just did. And I need you to be able to do it verbatim. Now listen, I want you to watch this video a thousand times over. Take a pen and piece of paper and write down everything that I said so that you can see the words while you're watching the video. See the words, watch the video. See the words, watch the video. That's stage one. Stage two, get your phone out, put it on a little stand, get a little uh, iPhone stand, they sell them Best Buy, okay? And just print record and say, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, um, I'd like to go over your proposal with you. Based on all the information you give me, um, I'm gonna make sure that we handle it and make it uh, your dream bathroom. But before we do, I have a question, a couple questions I need to ask you. Number one, have you ever remodeled uh, your home before, any part of your home? Watch, what if they say yes? Let me cover this. What if they say, yes, we have remodeled something? Then you're going to say, okay, then I'm sure you're aware of the nightmares that can happen. Like, and you go through the same thing. And I'm sure this time through, you're wanting to make sure. Watch this. Let's cover one more thing. Anthony, what if they say, I can't afford it? No, listen to me. Always respond back. Listen, I understand it may seem like you can't afford it. You can. Why? Because you can't afford not to do it. Let's say someone else had a cheaper bid, okay? I don't like cheap stuff. Do you, Anthony? Do you like cheap stuff? No. I don't either. So why are we talking about cheap stuff? If somebody comes in here and does a cheap job, number one, getting the money back when you go to resell the house one day, like I was telling you about, that ain't gonna happen because it isn't gonna have what you want. Number two, if you don't get the look that you're after, guess what? 
any amount of money isn't worth it. Right? Okay, then number three, if you don't do the job right, you're gonna do it twice. It's gonna cost twice as much as what they told you. Or you're gonna call me to come back in and spend more money to do it the way you want it. Securing your best deal, securing everything that you're wanting and the dream that you had when you called me and what you're envisioning, I am going to give you that and more. So if I can ensure that that will happen, you will sleep like a baby at night and be at peace knowing the hard-earned money you work for is being used to get you what you want. That is called value. Secondly, I'm gonna do it clean, easy, peaceful. I'm not gonna disturb the home. I'm not gonna disrupt the family while the remodel's going on. And guess what? At the end, it's gonna be such a phenomenal job that your property value is gonna increase and the job would have been free. How cool is that? Not to mention the self-improvement money you spend on your house, you can write it off on your taxes also. You got it? Good okay. man. I went a step further just to make sure that in case you got into that, you didn't get lost, okay? Sit, hey, I need you to paint the picture. Paint the paint. dream, Anthony. Paint the picture, paint the dream, bud. Good man. Okay. They, they, everything they're thinking, I made them know that I was aware of it. Anything, it, they didn't have to tell me. See, when I tell you something that you're afraid of, you think that I'm protecting you. Okay? Be the protector. Say, guys, all I'm going to do is protect you guys. That's it. So listen to me. It's not that you can't afford it. You can't afford not to do it. And at the end of the day, if it increases the property value at the same amount or more than what I'm charging, really it's free. And you get the tax right off. Notice they said, well, we can get it done for cheaper. Listen guys, I don't like cheap stuff, do you? Nah. So why are we talking about cheap stuff, right? Let's get it let's get it done right, let's get it done one time. There's a difference between a time a Timex and a Rolex, aren't there? Mm. Yeah, they both tell time. <laughs> guess what? Everybody knows that the Rolex is a nicer watch. It was built nicer. It's a better lasting watch. And people keep them in generations and hand them down for hundreds of years. I don't know one person handing down time lessons. Okay? So are you guys looking to have a Rolex job that you're happy with every single day? And then when you go to sell it, you're getting Rolex inflation on your home? Are you looking for a Timex job? You want to look at a Timex every day? And when you go to do, I'm making a point, at some point resell it, have no added value to your house. Listen, watch me compliment you. You guys did a really good job of coming up with this plan. Let's execute it and give you this beautiful plan. And if I could do that, what would that mean to you? Everything, right? Right. Let me take care of it. I need you to believe in yourself. One of the things you'll see, Anthony, is I'm not just good at speaking and the shit that I say doesn't just make sense. But people won't always remember what you say, but they'll always remember how they felt. Okay? Anthony, make people feel a certain way when they're around you. If you'll do that, you'll be the best in the world. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe, make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free, F-R-E-E, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.